so here's the story. This house used to belong, or used to be the house for our family farm, which was the 40 acre square from that road here down to the next dirt road, and then from Buffalo Road there where I live, over to that fence row at the back of my seven acre field. And the people that lived here lost it to foreclosure. So we were able to buy it back. And we got the house, the two acres it sits on, and then the original barn for the property. But the people that lived here weren't, they were right on the verge of being white trash. And when they went, they kind of gutted the house. Um, we took the windows out and because we didn't want all the glass and crap in the burn pile. As you can see, my buddies were in here last night with sledgehammers doing some destructive stuff just for fun. But they took, when they left, they took fixtures, cabinets, lighting, everything. And basically there wasn't a whole lot left. And uh, to top it all off, when they did move out, they took the sump pump out of the basement and we had a lot of rain coming. And it proceeded to put about four foot of water in the basement. And now the whole house is full of rot and mildew and there just wasn't any saving it. So we gotta tear it down. Which sucks because it is the original family farmhouse and if I had my way, you know, in a perfect world we could have fixed it, but we can't, so. But here's the upstairs. I did that. That was a chimney. Yeah. Well, there it goes. I suppose I ought to get out of here. So there's the grand tour of what's left of it. As you can see, it was kind of worth tearing down. You can get all the way from the top floor to the bottom floor without using stairs now. There's a hole up there, there's a hole over here.
That excavator doesn't have enough hydraulics on it. You can plumb it up for it, but then the valve and stuff's not there.
see that there? That's a big old pile of shit. 